Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In our previous video, I showed to you guys the policy-based load balancing. In that video, I forgot to to show you guys the script for NetWatch so that if your ISP is or if you if one of your ISP is down then the traffic that is assigned to that ISP will be routed to another ISP. So for example, let's say that ISP2 is down. So if we did not put a script that if ISP2 is down, it will be shifted to ISP1, then you don't you won't have any streaming traffic anymore because ISP2 is down. So that's what I, I will show you guys. A script in Netwatch that if your if one of your ISP is down then this routing mark will be changed. So to do that we need to configure first monitor IP in the IP routes. So click IP, then routes, then click plus, then destination address, pingable DNS, public DNS. So I'll choose this public DNS. Gateway, I'll assign this one to ISP1. Then check gateway ping, scope 10. Click apply and OK. We'll add another another one for ISP2. So for ISP2, I assign this public DNS. Then gateway, ISP2. Should gateway ping, scope 10. And apply. Okay. Then for ISP3, I, I'll assign this public DNS. For ISP3, scope 10. Apply OK. After that one, we will now proceed to NetWatch. So, click Tools, then NetWatch, click Plus. So, host for the host for you will put the monitor IP for ISP1, which is 1.0.0.1. Then, interval for this demonstration, I will choose an interval of 10 seconds. Then time out 5 ms. If it's 5 ms and above, then it it is down. Then if it's still 5 ms below, then it is up. So this for the, this is only for demonstration. So you need to know, guys, uh, the normal latency of your each of your ISP, so that you can set here in the timeout. So for the app, so the script is uh, slash IP firewall mangel set bracket find comment. So we will find this comment browsing comment that we set the the comment that we set in the mangel. So for browsing, we put comment browsing. Make sure that it is incorrect spelling that you will put on your netwatch. So, where is it? Uh, this one. So, comment, apostrophe, browsing, apostrophe, close bracket, space, new, connection, mark, is equals to so browsing is normal route is in two one one right if it's down then we will change it to ice veto apply okay All right let's try to check if it's working so oh. 
if the status of your netwatch is down, then this script will be will trigger. So two one one two one one routing mark this one will auto automatically change to two at two. So let's try to to si simulate if your ISP one is down. So we'll just make our timeout lesser than five so that down script will be triggered. So let's just say it's one MS. Right, it's down. So if your if you don't have internet on your ISP one, then this down script will trigger, then it will change to two one two. Uh, it's not working so let's try to first to simulate here in the, we will disable first this one we'll simulate in the terminal first then we will copy the command in the terminal then put it here in our network script so let's try first to do manually so ip firewall mongel set uh, bracket find comment was browsing work spelling all right then close bracket space new connection mark was two one two all right when we put when we press enter This marking uh, routing mark two one one will be changed to two one two. It's not working. Why it's not working? Huh? Let me check. IP forward mongel. Ah, so so IP forward mongel not new connection mark new routing mark rather. New routing mark two one two. All right, so it's changed. So we'll copy this command. And put it in your network script. Let's try. All right, so down, change that to one two. Then if it's up, change that to one one. So copy the same script for your ISP two and ISP three. So for ISP two, the monitoring gateway is two zero eight. That's six seven. That two two two. That two two two. Then interval so. Change this one to five. Up. Change the comment to streaming. New routing mark. To one two. Then for the down, if ISP two is done, I will route it to ISP one. Apply OK. So down. Change to two one one. All right. If the ISP two has an internet. Then, example, up. No, wrong. Locking digit. 
up. So, go back again to 2 and 2. Alright, for the games and others, uh, for the games, to ISP2, so we will add the netwatch in the ISP2067222 in the app. We'll copy this one forward slash forward slash. We'll copy this one there. Command teams. The down, enter, two, one, one. Apply, okay. So observe, guys. So, if your ISP2 is up, then what we set in the streaming and games is 2 1 2. But if the ISP2 is down, it will automatically change to 2 1 1, the streaming and the games rule. Tools Netwatch, we will try to simulate. If your ISP is down, ISP2 is down, down status, alright, streaming, change to 211, games, change to 211 also. So it's working. Tools Netwatch. We'll now add for ISP3. 9.9.9.9 .9 .9 .9 .9 .9 .9 .9 Zero, 10 seconds, up, change to others, make sure that it's correct spelling, 213, copy this one, down, when it's down, shift to ISP1, apply OK. If your ISP3 is down, let's simulate, down, then it will now change to 211. It was not changed by might be your own spelling. So let's check the script. Alright, it's in the down so we simulate the the wrong the wrong script. This is ISP3 the nine dot nine dot nine dot nine. So simulate down status others rule will change to 211. If the ISP3 is back, the connection is back, then status up, change to 213. Hope you guys understand the simulation. So, let's try. So, for the, we will try browsing. So, if your <clears throat> internet is working just fine, so your browsing will be routed to, to ISP1. Let's try to do speed test. Right. to ISP1. If your ISP1 is down, if your ISP1 is down, then Netwatch will trigger, Downscript will trigger, Downscript will trigger, so your route for browsing will now go to ISP2. So let's try again to do speed test. Alright, as you can see, the traffic now goes to ISP2. So, I will not demonstrate streaming games and others. You can, uh, you can try it on your own, guys. If you have problem doing that, uh, you can just leave a comment in this video. And I will do my best to assist you guys. So, hope this video helps if it is please subscribe to my channel like and share it will very much help me to be motivated and upload more useful content
So, bye for now guys and have a nice day.